Serendipity is defined as the occurrence and development of events by chance in a happy or beneficial way. This story goes back probably seven or eight years. The radio station that awakened me every morning at 6 a.m. used to do so with one of many renditions of our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Some by college bands, some by solo singers, some choral. And one particular one I just became addicted to, a soulful, haunting piano. I could count on my favorite coming up in the rotation every six to eight weeks, and it would immediately awaken me to pay attention. I didn't want to miss a single note. After about a year, I finally had to call the station and find out who this artist was. Ready for this? They didn't know. Well, it took a couple of calls to the station, but they finally tracked down my favorite. It was on the track for Ken Burns' PBS saga, Baseball. Perfect. National Anthem, Baseball. I immediately went out and purchased the CD, and in the jacket notes found the artist's name, Jacqueline Schwab. That started a relationship that has been evolving for over six years now. Jacqueline came to play at the History Museum here in St. Louis about five years ago and actually played for folk dancers right here in my hometown of Webster Groves. I also discovered she had worked on several other Burns classics, the Civil War, World War I, numerous others. Burns, it seems, was fascinated with her ability to involve herself and her music with his story. His storytelling swept me away, and so his way of making a film isn't the usual way of, uh, they call it locking a film, where the film's pretty much done and then the music gets fit to the film. And I've worked on projects for other people that way. Making a long story short, I knew I was going to vacation in Rhode Island this past November, and that Jacqueline and her husband lived a short way out towards Cape Cod. So I gave it a shot and gave her a call. The result? A fine New England afternoon touring off-season Chatham, Massachusetts, and a dinner at Ms. Schwab's house that ends up in the only YouTube video Jacqueline Schwab has ever done when she is not playing the piano. We had chatted all afternoon about the phenomenon of flow, of being in the zone, as athletes report it. That condition when one is hyper-focused, so process-driven that one loses consciousness of the self and time gets warped. It either stands still or goes by very quickly. It turns out musicians experience the same thing as athletes. I call it an expansive process. Even though he had boxed me in in lots of ways. If you've got a half hour, click on the link below and listen to Ken Burns' house pianist, the fingers behind baseball's Star Spangled Banner, Mark Twain's Maple Leaf Rag, and the Civil War's haunting marching through Georgia. Talk about losing yourself in being a part of the story. Truly the Michael Jordan of keyboards. It's Kim, and this is another Moment of Clarity.